Recognizing pancreatic, gastric, rectal and appendiceal neuroendocrine tumors, or NETs, can be challenging, as presentation may be heterogeneous and patients may experience no symptoms or symptoms found in other diseases. This may lead to delays in diagnosis, management and referral. In this video, we'll discuss how to recognize and diagnose NETs in your patients and the importance of referring them to a NET Centre of Excellence or Specialist Centre. Symptoms of NETs depend on whether tumours are functional or non-functional. Functional NETs secrete hormones. Functional pancreatic NETs, like gastrinomas, cause gastric ulcers, diarrhoea and heartburn due to gastric acid hypersecretion. Gastrinomas are localised in the gastrinoma triangle. Insulinomas can cause episodic hyperglycemia and neuroglycopenic symptoms, which are resolved after glucose intake. Non-functional NETs are generally asymptomatic and therefore often have a delayed and challenging diagnosis. Depending on the location of the tumour on the pancreas, symptoms of a non-functional pan-NET include jaundice, diabetes or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency and pain. Patients with type 1 gastric nets present with symptoms consistent with atrophic gastritis and those with rectal nets often present with rectal tenesmus and changes in bowel habits, which can be mistaken for other diseases. Full evaluation of patients with nets includes assessing symptoms, tumour characteristics, hormone secretion and hereditary predisposition. Key hereditary syndromes in pan nets are MEN1, VHL, tuberous sclerosis, and neurofibromatosis. Cross-sectional imaging is mandatory before functional imaging. Functional imaging using Gallium-68 PET-CT scans provides information about somatostatin receptor, SSTR expression, and is a key tool for diagnosis, prediction of response to cold, and radio-labeled somatostatin analogues, as well as estimation of prognosis. Endoanal ultrasound and endoscopy are the gold standard of diagnosis, especially in rectal nets. Full diagnostic and therapeutic decision-making should be based on tumour size and grade. Clinical symptoms should be managed before any intervention. Surgery or endoscopic resection are the treatment of choice for localised disease in early-grade nets. Multidisciplinary care is essential for managing nets, whether localised or advanced. Nets are complex and require multidisciplinary care. Early referral to a NET Centre of Excellence or Specialist Centre is highly recommended and can improve patient prognosis and quality of life. For more information on the diagnosis and management of neuroendocrine tumours, please refer to the full microlearning programme on core2ed.com.